All right, so this video is to show you how to install the Light Monkey Tinkle Valve service kit in your Light Monkey Tinkle Valve. This, uh, this suit does have a DUI branded Tinkle Valve, but uh, same exact thing. So why would you need this service kit? Maybe you're getting wet uh, either with urine or with water on the inside of the suit. More than likely, your duck bill here or the the sealing plastic uh, gasket uh, is leaking internally. Um, it's also possible that your uh, exhaust valve or your little flapper valve uh, is folded up and, and uh, damaged. So well, let's just get into how to how to replace this guy real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen up the set screw. I am using a 330 seconds uh, Allen key, and I've already kind of started it here, so I'm just going to remove that set screw. Then I can go ahead and remove the protective cap. And so now I've got access to my O-ring, which is right here. Just do the little squeeze technique and it'll pop right out. And then I can go ahead and remove my little exhaust valve, or flapper valve. Just go ahead and install the new one. Just a little press fit, make sure it's sitting flush. Install that new O-ring. That's pretty easy. Maintenance on these, um, you know, you're dealing with uh, a soft silicone-like material. Not a bad idea to spray it down with uh, a little bit of silicone spray every once in a while. Um, definitely want to be doing a good freshwater rinse uh, with your P-valve system. Um, different cleaning agents, you know, you can use. Uh, the big one we use here is just a mixture of water, uh, alcohol, and vinegar uh, down the the p-valve hose when this is open then i take a little bit of compressed air and just kind of dry it all out uh, that seems to work real nice but everybody's got their own method you know uh probably the only thing i would stay away from is anything real corrosive um steramine's another one that you know if you've got it uh that works real great Keep a big tub of it. Okay, so it screws in. Now it's not removing all the way. Outside is done. Let's get to the inside. All right, so on the inside of the valve, this guy's pretty simplistic. Again, we've got this uh, set screw. We are going to be using a 3 16th to remove it. Now this is metal into Delrin. So we don't need to go crazy tight when we're dealing with this. As always, I kind of like to use tools that most people have. So I just got a little paper clip here. Just help me dislodge the set screw. And this guy's actually in there pretty good. Just loosened up. Okay. So this little guy, you can tell there is a right way and a wrong way for it to get installed. That lip. It's going to be catching the set screw. Just get 
rid of this one so we got our new one and then there's our duck bill this guy's a really soft silicone just went down the leg So if you see how it's laying closed right now, that's what we should be seeing. Sometimes when they get deformed, they'll uh, they'll lay open like this. And of course, at that point, it is not working. All right, so just again to show you how this is going to be sitting in there. So I've got my lipped edge mating up with that duck bill. And then the flat surface, oh, almost lost it. All right, the flat surface is gonna be mating with the set screw. Get our new one here out of our package. Okay, got our new one. We're gonna drop him in. Now I'm really gonna be careful not to damage it. Drop the little washer in place the correct way. Okay, everything's lining up nice. Get our set screw. And again, you don't gotta go crazy tight here. You're only gonna do more problems if you do. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, new duck bill new flapper, new O-ring. That's all that's going on here. Um, again, this is our balancing chamber, so it's keeping suit pressure uh, and kind of hose pressure, if you will, what's attached to us, all in equilibrium. Um, what I did on mine, I got really annoyed with this component failing, so I actually plugged this off entirely uh, and made it an unbalanced P-valve. Um, you know, and I, I love I love the the nice knob on the tinkle valves, but that is one method that you can do to just eliminate some of the working components here. Um, of course, if you want to go that route, you can always just buy an unbalanced uh, P valve and, and be done with that issue altogether. But again, that's uh, just something that I've done here. Um, this guy does not have the quick disconnect, um, so if you do have the quick disconnect. You know, you're just kind of prying that apart. You can always clean that real well. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this helps somebody out out there. Um, thanks for watching.